Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to derive the rule for the sum and products of the roots of a cubic equations. So let's get into it. Let's say we have a cubic equations in standard form. So that is a x power of 3 at bx squared, we add cx, and then we add a constant that is d is equal to 0. So let's say this cubic equations has three solutions or three roots. That is, let's say x is equal to alpha or x equal beta or x is equal to gamma. So if I want to write this in factor form, this is equal to x minus alpha and x minus beta and x minus gamma, which is equal to zero. So that's what that meant. So let me just expand them out first, okay? Now to expand it out, you can either expand this term first or you can expand this, okay? Whichever way you like, doesn't matter. So let me just do from left to right. So I just go x times x, so that give me x squared. So let me just write this down, x squared. So this imply x squared, and then we times this together. So x times negative beta is minus beta x. And then now we just go alpha times x but is negative alpha so that give me negative alpha x now we just go negative alpha times negative beta so become positive so that is alpha times beta so it could become plus alpha beta this term here time together will give me this so therefore we still live with this x minus gamma that is equal to zero so there you go. So what I do, I expand it further. So this means that we have x squared times x. So that will give me x to the power of 3. So that is x to the power of 3. And we have x squared times negative gamma. So that give me negative gamma x squared. So let me just write this down. Minus gamma x squared. So now we have negative beta x times x will give me negative beta x squared. So that is minus beta x squared. And we have this term, this term. So negative time negative give me positive. So beta x times gamma will give me beta gamma x. So let me just write this down. So that become positive. That is plus beta gamma x. Now we have this time this. So negative alpha x times x will give me minus alpha x squared. Then we go negative alpha x times negative gamma. So it will give me a positive. So plus alpha gamma x. So we add alpha gamma x. So let me just move this up a bit. And then now the next one is we have this one here. So alpha beta times x will become plus alpha beta x. And then we time this together, will give us negative, okay? So that is minus alpha beta and gamma. So that is equal to zero. So there you go. So let me just rewrite this. We just put x power three in front and then followed by x squared and then x and then constant, yeah? For x power of 3, I write this down. And then we just put this in the front, okay? This x square, x square, x square, we just put them together, okay? So that is minus gamma x square minus beta x square and we minus alpha x square. So now what I do, I just write x, okay? So that means this x here, we put them together. So let me just write it out. So that become plus beta gamma x. We add alpha gamma x and we plus alpha beta x. And then the last term is minus alpha 
beta and gamma. So that is equal to zero. So keep that in mind for me. So now what I do is I take out common factor. So for these terms here, we can take out the common factor that is negative x squared. So I'm just put in the front first, okay? So easier to see. So that means, let me just write this imply. So that is the same as x part three, I take negative x squared out. Because I take this negative x squared out, so this one here become positive. So that become gamma, and then this become plus, okay? Because the negative, I took it out already. So beta, and we add this one here is alpha. So now what I do with these terms here, I just take out the common factor, that is x. So I take it out, I put in front first, okay? So I take the x out. So this term here, I take x out, so left with beta, gamma. And we add this term here, we left with alpha, gamma. And the next term is we live with alpha, beta. And the last term, I just copied that out. So that is minus alpha, beta, and gamma, which is equal to zero. So please keep that in mind. So now what I do, I just rewrite this, okay? Just to make it look simpler. So what I do, I put this x squared in the back. And I put this x in the back here, okay? So let me just rewrite this out. So this is the same as x power 3 and then minus. So I write this, this term out. So gamma plus beta plus alpha is exactly the same as alpha plus beta plus gamma, okay? So plus beta and plus gamma. And the x squared I put in the back here. So keep that in mind. And with this one here, I just put this in the back. So that is plus. So now we have inside the bracket is beta gamma plus alpha gamma plus alpha beta is exactly the same as alpha beta plus alpha gamma and a plus beta gamma. And the X I put in the back. Okay, I just rewrite in different order. That's all. So now the last term, I copied that out. So that becomes alpha, beta, and gamma. That is equal to zero. So there you go. Let me just rewrite the original cubic equation out first. So we have ax cubed plus bx squared. We add cx plus d is equal to zero. So we want to compare the both coefficients. So what I do, because we have x power 3 here, but we have a x power 3. So what I do, I get the second equation, I just divide everything by a, so that become x power 3 as well, okay? So if I divide this a, and divide this by a, and I divide this by a, divide this by a, and divide this by a, so this means that we have x power 3, because this cancel out, plus b over a, x squared and we add c over a x and we plus d over a and zero over a is zero so let me just write zero so there you go now we have two equations and they are the same so we have this equation here and this equation here they are the same so let me just equate that so what we do we just compare the coefficients okay so we compare the coefficients of x squared so if you have a look at this, so the coefficient of x squared for this is this. And the coefficients for this second equation is this. So they are the same. So we let, let me just compare this. So this means that negative alpha plus beta plus gamma will give me, so b over a. But then if I divide by both sides by negative or I turn by negative one, so on the right hand side will give me alpha plus beta plus gamma will give me negative b over a. So we have one equation there. So there you go. So now we compare the coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x is this one here. And with this. So there you go. So this means that the sum of the products is equal to, let me just write this down. So we have alpha, beta plus alpha, gamma plus 
beta gamma. So that will give me C over I. So C over I. And then the last one is the product. So the product of this, the last term is equal to this. So now let me just write this down. So this means that negative alpha, beta, and gamma will give me D over I. So let me just move this up. So this means that if I time by negative one on both sides, so this side here become positive. So alpha, beta, and gamma is equal to negative D over I. So there you go. So please keep that in mind. So if we have a cubic equations, let me just write this out again. So if we have ax power 3 at bx squared at cx at d is equal to 0. So this means that alpha plus beta plus gamma will give me negative b over a. And the sum of the products that is alpha beta plus alpha gamma and we plus beta gamma so which is after b will be c okay so c over a but then is positive so negative positive negative okay keep that in mind and we have alpha beta and then um, gamma the three roots time together will give me so after c will be d so d over a but is negative so that's how you remember okay you start with b over a c over a and then d over a but we start with negative so negative b over a and then c over a and then negative d over a so please take note on this so there you go and thank you so much for watching bye